Sandy with Sandy and Company. And today we are continuing our conversation about taking care of our seniors and our family members who may need a little bit more help and need to change their home to fit their needs. One of the resources that we often take a look at when we are adults looking at our family members, the question is, should they come move in with me? And I have three things for you to consider before you make that decision to move them into your home. First of all, how much room do you have versus how much room you need? If you've got two bedrooms and you've got five people already living in there, you're probably a little squeezed. Maybe if you have four bedrooms and you only have three people living in them, then that seems like that could be a good fit. But how are those rooms positioned? And is your family member going to be able to access those bedrooms if they're upstairs? How are the bathrooms laid out? How is your home laid out in your space so that it really would fit for you and for them? Another question is how much assistance and care can you really provide? If your family member needs meals cooked for them on a regular basis and needs someone with them all day long, whether it's taking care of medication or bathroom needs, and if you have a full-time job, you have to be ready to either bring care in or change your work situation so that you can be that caretaker. If they are able to get around the house independently, then obviously that would be a better fit if you're working full time. The third question I have, and this may seem really simple, do you get along? Now you may like each other and obviously you love each other if you're planning to bring them into your home space, which should really still be your home but how well do you get along with each other on a daily basis? What rubs you out the wrong way? How can you have conversations about what's working for you and not working for you ahead of time, as well as in the middle of these things happening? This is family life. And just because you're related to each other doesn't mean you're necessarily supposed to be bringing that family member into your home. These are just some of the conversations that you need to have when you are planning how to take care of a family member who can no longer stay in their own home or who needs to shift what their home arrangement looks like. If you would like the full report, I actually got it from caring.com. Go take a look at them. It looks like they have some great resources for seniors as you are talking about these changes and making plans to help your family members right now and in the long term as well. Or you can reach out to me. I've got the report and be glad to send that to you for free. Let me know if you have any other questions. If you're contemplating making a home change to fit a loved one in, talk with me and let's see how we can help with that. Or if this house doesn't work, but you know that you need that to happen anyway, let's talk about getting you a home that does. Our motto is making lives better. How can we make yours better? Call me, message me, reach out. We are here for you and ready to help make that happen. Have a super blessed day. Stay safe, stay healthy. And we look forward to talking with you about your real estate needs for you or any of your family members or friends. See you on the flip side. Thank you.